Hey guys, it's Wanda and it's time for an afternoon coffee break. Today I'm going to be doing Ticino and I'm going to be doing the French vanilla because it is a non-caffeine coffee substitute and I love my French vanilla. Now K-Flow sent me this coffee maker. You see it says portable electric coffee maker. I liked it because it has a cord. I can just plug it up to any USB, whatever, and take it with me over to the cabin. I don't have to have power. It will make up to 20 cups on a charging. It's small travel weight, you know, travel size, all this. It comes apart for cleaning. Lots of great features with it. So, upon playing around and reading, the one thing I don't like is it doesn't heat up. Now they make one that heats up, but they didn't send me one that heats up. So I'm having to heat my water before making my Ticino. Other than that, I, it's a nice product, but if you like cold coffees, I guess this is it. Um, it says to heat it before making it or to make iced coffees, whatever. I would have rather had the one that heats because I'm going to the cabin. I need the heated one. So for today, we're going to make a coffee and I'm going to show you what it does, but this one is not going to be beneficial for what I wanted it for. I needed something that heats, but the heated one heats up and heats the coffee as it's making it. This one just pushes the coffee through and makes it according to whatever, uh, if whatever water you put in there if you put cold water you get cold coffee if you put warm water you get warm coffee if you put hot water you get hot coffee that's the way it goes so I'm gonna take this apart and show you the pieces to it you can charge it with just the uh, USB which is great we've got solar over there I can plug it up to my solar panel and that would work fine okay this is the base we're gonna put this in here and we put our French vanilla Ticino in there. We flip this over and twist it down. So I screwed that down. This fits on here and you match up the um, there like that and I'll twist it. All right, I twisted it on and sit it here. It's hard to do with one hand trying to film this. All right. Now the top comes off like this and you pour your water in this stainless container here. Okay, that should be it. Put the lid back on. All right, we mashed it. There we go. And it shuts off automatically. Now I added just a touch of my ironwood honey infused vanilla or vanilla infused honey, whichever way you want to say it, and it's ready to go. How does it taste? Mmm, Ticino. I love it. Now, putting warm water in there or by heating my water first, it works. It's perfect for an afternoon, just enjoying a drink right quick. It's awesome. But now if I was taking it to the cabin and I needed it for first thing in the morning, I do need the heated one, not having to heat water because that's one of our issues over there is Danny has to heat things in the morning for me to have coffee. So I was thinking this was the perfect setup because I could just plug it into the solar. But they sent me the non-heating one. 
So guys, if you're checking out anything like this, the K-Flow, and it works with pods, I asked for the one so I could do the Ticino that does ground coffees, but you can get the pods and everything. Make sure you get the heated one. K-Flow would be an awesome thing if it were heated. It does have a maximum fill line, and the one thing that I'm not crazy about is it only makes this much, which is a small cup of coffee. I'm used to this type of coffee, and it only makes about half of this. But I could do two of them in just a few minutes. That would be awesome. So I just took this off and went to take this up. And when you do, and I used hot coffee, that little boogie's hot. So just uh, since it's stainless, it's great to clean up. It's easy cleanup. But once you make a cup of coffee with hot um, water, this gets warm. Just a, just a warning there. Let it cool off. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.